I want to talk to you about building your referral business. So you get a, you get a customer. How do we get that customer to refer us to other people? Or how do you find somebody that you play golf with or somebody yeah. that you know from Roswell High School or whatever? How do you get those people to refer you? What what do you how do you think about that? Well, what's, what's amazing, and I, I know you know this, is is the biggest challenge to referrals is nobody asks for them, <laughs> right? Right. I mean, you just don't. No, um, they don't. And it's it's incredible. And I mean, I have by myself in that position of, in fact, I, I it's funny. I asked a, a client recently if they would help me uh, meet somebody at one of their competitors, and uh, and his response was kind of interesting. He said, you know, I'm not sure. I got to think about that a little bit. And I was like, well, I thought you were really happy with us. He said, well, I'm we're very happy with you guys. But if I introduce you to them and they're as demanding as we are, I'm concerned that your team will get stretched too thin and not be able to give us the attention that we need. I'm like, whoa, that is a great point. Now, whoa, we have a big firm, so it's not very likely that would happen. But it was, I could see where he's coming from. Of, yeah. Hey, you know what? I don't. He want feels to... special, and he thought he I might not feel special. Right. I might all not of a sudden, be special. all of a sudden, now you guys are are too distracted with a, with a brand new client, you know, and I become second chair. I get that. Um, but you know, I I think the other thing is, um, as basic as it sounds, you know, LinkedIn is pretty darn good at the you know the know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody yeah, you know, the yeah. old Facebook. Um, yeah. I mean, it's pretty darn good if you know how yeah. to use it. Yeah. And and you know, I do also think LinkedIn has a lot of functionality in there that a lot of us don't really understand. But do you do anything like, do you spend more time with them? Do you invite them to your house for dinner? Do you play golf with them? I mean, do you see, are there certain things you feel like you need to do to, to make that relationship stronger with your current yeah. customers so that they'll look? Um, I, yeah, I, I do think um, it's that old maxim of, you know, what is, they don't, they don't know how much you care until they care how much you know or whatever, whatever but, it is. But I, you know, I think for us, a lot of it is, um, is, is, respecting the relationship and delivering above and beyond and then simply asking. And so for us in our business, there's not a tremendous amount of entertainment that goes on. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I don't know why that is. It's just the way our business has always been. It's, you know, it's sort of business is done, you know, at the office and, right. you know, you might get folks to go to dinner now and again or lunch every once in a while, but there's not a lot of going to Braves games and, and, and whining and dining people like this.